Hi, my name is Winston Gao, and today we're going to talk about how do you pick a good water filtration system. Now, the number one most important thing is the size of the water filtration system. The bigger it is, the longer duration the water has to be cleaned up before you get to drink it. The smaller the filter, the shorter amount of time, the less efficient it's going to be. So those little teeny weeny pitcher filters that's less than two inches, they're just window decorations. They'll make the water taste better, but as far as really taking anything out significantly, it's a joke. The next thing you want to pay attention is avoiding reverse osmosis water, because reverse osmosis water removes all the toxic stuff, or most of it anyway, while it also removes all the minerals. Now this becomes a problem, because when you remove all the alkaline minerals, you end up with an acid water. And this water also has a tendency to grow black fungus. So that's a second problem with reverse osmosis. So I just recommend people just avoid it entirely. Now, having said that, unfortunately, reverse osmosis is not easy to re avoid because 90 plus percent of all your bottle waters is reverse osmosis water. Even when they say it's spring water, it's spring water TM, trademark, and it's still reverse osmosis water. So. The best way is to get good, fresh, clean water from the city. Yes, the city has fluoride, arsenic, heavy metals, chlorine, chloramines, but with ideal earth water, we're able to take out the fluoride to non-detectable levels. And we do not remove the good alkaline minerals while we remove the toxic stuff. So check us out, idealearthwater.com. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.